Hello again YouTube, and I'm back uh, with a small update video. Um, this video is in uh, response to uh, a, a fellow YouTuber that gave me a, gave me a call and um, you know was calling to check on me, which I, I thought I really appreciated that. They, it was very, very thoughtful. Um, and you know, we made a suggestion that I make a video to let folks know how I'm doing. So this this video was a short video uh, in response to that. Um, so essentially, I'm still in the game. I'm still in the game. I'm still doing solar. Uh, my system has changed a little bit, uh, but for the most part, it's still pretty much the same. I, I'm still running the same, using the same batteries uh, that I've been using. They're, they're, the system is doing exactly what I need it to do. Um, I've made some changes in the sense that I, you know, in addition to my TriStar controller here that I use, the TriStar MPPT 600, I also use this SunSaver MPPT uh, for a very, very small solar array. And I replaced my classic 250 with another TriStar MPPT 600 volt uh, uh, charge controller. Both of them, they do very, very well. Also, uh, in terms of my hot water heater, I removed the controller that I was using, and now I'm using a special three-way switch that allows me to go on and off grid. Um, it's specially wired. I went to a website called waterheatertimers.org, uh, something like that, and, it, and that, on that website, it kind of showed me how to wire this thing in such a way that I can utilize a 120 volt, uh, 120 volt uh, circuit and a hundred and uh, or two hundred and twenty volt circuit um, at the same time. So it's a three-way switch uh, that I bought off Amazon that allows me to pull the uh, correct amount of current through it, so I can do what I need to do. So as you can see here, off-grid 120 volts, uh, on-grid uh, 220 volts, and in the middle it'll just turn everything off. Now, if you look here, um, you can kind of see what's going on. I'm pulling about just over 1,000 watts, okay, heating my uh, hot, hot water through solar. Um, and this is my little monitoring stuff, uh, software that I utilize uh, to, uh, you know, check everything out. You can see as far as the inverter power coming in and uh, power usage, this is what my inverter is kicking out. This is what I'm, what I'm quote unquote using from the utility. Um, as far as the utility goes, I got a new smart meter, so I don't know if that value is the, the power that that smart meter uses or the power that my thermostat uses, um, you know, from the utility, from my HVAC. The battery voltage is down to 24 volts right now. Um, again, you know, basically the sun's going down, so, and I'm using a lot of power as far as, you know, coming, you know, right here, that's over 2 kilowatts of power. And my combined control amps, as far as the power coming in, is around 58. Um, again, at, it's toward the end of the day. That number can get well over 100. Okay, well over 100. You can see here with the old trusty trimetric. Um, and you know, in addition to my solar coming in, I'm pulling this much going out. But eh, I'm only down to 96. Um, as for 96% battery full, which is really good. It's still good, right? So, and if you look here, as far as total array power, now this number could be, you know, as high as almost like, you know, three kilowatts. But again, you know, the sun's going down and I've been doing, I'm running a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm you know, heating my hot water, I'm washing clothes uh, with the, you know, the, uh, the washing machine and I got fans going in the house. So all of this stuff is going on. So that's, uh, that kind of contributes uh, to, you know, the power usage. But all in all, we're pretty good. Uh, as far as today, I've already, you know, I've produced about 9.5 kilo, uh, kilowatts from all sources. And I can, you know, check my grid status and stuff like that. Uh, the software that I'm using is, you know, it's called NodeRed. I developed this software. I mean, the software you could download from, uh, from the internet, you could figure out how to use it and stuff like that. I programmed it to have this interface, right? Uh, so with this software here, I can, my house, my house is like 90 percent, 80, you know, I'd say, well, 90 to 95 percent automated. Um, and you can see here, you know, I can control and see a lot of stuff, right? Camera systems, uh, you, I can look at each individual controller to see how they're doing. Like if I select this. This is my TriStars, you know, how they're doing and so forth. Um, 
you know, come on up and, you know, a lot of information. I, 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 I did all of this on my own. Um, I wanted to develop a interface that gives me pretty much a lot, of, you know, a lot of stuff. Um, you know, everything from trending to weather data, weather information, you know, you name it, I can do it. So I can head on back here, look at total information. Um, and so this is at a glance. It lets me know how the system's doing at a glance. And you can see the inverter power usage just went down because um, I don't think I'm utilizing the um, uh, hot water now because my hot water is hot enough. So you can see the voltage has gone back up. And, you know, but I'm still pulling some nice amps in. Not as not as much as a, as the maximum that I can get, but that's you know, 58 amps. That's pretty good for any system. Uh, but again, this thing can get up as uh, well over 100. Um, if you look back here, you can see that it just went down to zero. So my hot water is hot again. So um, you know, that's that's excellent. I really like this. This again, this switch I bought off this three-way switch I bought off Amazon, and um, you know it's a special three-way switch that will allow you to do this type of stuff. And you know, as far as getting you know allowing the appropriate amount of amps to come through it without burning stuff up. And I got the information, the wiring diagrams from a site called WaterHeaterTimers.org, I believe. And this circuit here is a isolated circuit so there's no other stuff that's on it uh, to you know to put the circuit in danger you know as far as from overload so this is an a isolated dedicated circuit so um, so there's no danger there and uh, this particular I like the tr I like the TriStar charge controllers especially because of this huge heat sink um, so I don't have to I don't have to worry about fans you know on the charge controllers themselves and these these charge controllers are designed to take a beating um, and they are they are definitely good to go okay let's step outside and let's see my solar panels okay YouTube I'm back again here and and I've made some modifications to my solar setup here and what I, one of the modifications was that you know I had to redo my roof um, because uh, we had some leaks and you know we decided to go with a metal roof and that was a good decision for us and so in order to go with the metal if I had to take my um, my uh, solar panels down and so I had to essentially uh, come up with a different way of doing things and what I've done is I've added another solar array uh, here at the end and this solar array here it takes all four uh, I'm sorry eight of my solar panels that were on the roof and I've placed them you know on a very on a steel pipe in concrete and so as you look here this particular this with this setup you can see it's tilted in the appropriate angles and so forth like that there is some shading but this is toward the end of the day so I can deal with that steel this is a that's a six inch diameter steel pipe and uh, this was a beast to put together um, However, it's you know it's definitely worth the money, and um, you know it's it's definitely a two man, uh, a two person job here. And so you can see, you know, I've got you know the wiring and stuff like that, you know, it's coming into the conduit, and you know, and it's buried in uh, in concrete. Uh, so that was a that was a lot of work, and also I had to take my other two original solar panels down as well. And I decided to ground mount them, um, and I built this ground. I designed and built this ground mount system. And essentially, I went on YouTube uh, and you know um, online, and I saw some how other people have done it, and I came up with my own design. And it works great, you know. Got the parts from Home Depot and Lowe's, and you can see, you know, how things are set up. You know, there's a hinge at the bottom so that I can you know adjust the angles and so forth. And you can see that I've got a little bit of shading going on. Well, I got a lot of shading going on, but again, it's at the end of the day, uh, toward the end of the day. So I'm not really sweating it, you know. Uh, but this is how I got it set up. So these these two Kyocera solar panels, I think they're about, eh, I don't know, um, 135 watts each or something like that, maybe. Uh, so uh, they're in series, and uh, I'm I've got that little sun saver, you know, on there uh, for a charge controller for them. But other than that, I mean, I've got a lot of, I've done a lot, uh, you know, since I've been away. And uh, I'll be updating you folks, you know, um, uh, hopefully, you know, in the future. 
but just wanted to check in with you let you know hey I'm still you know everything's going well and you know I still got my little you know stuff uh, you know my wiring there that was interesting to come up with but uh, it works like it, you know as I said before my system you know it's not pretty but it's incredibly effective uh, right now again I was heating hot water I was doing laundry uh, had fans going lights going computers going um, I mean during the day on a nice sunny day I do not use util utility power at all none um, so anyway all right and as you can see here I've got my little new smart meter here you know I really you know I hate it when they did that but they did it so oh well big deal um, but in any case uh, it's good to produce your own power it really truly is um, you know so folks I hope you're doing well uh, take care of yourself if you have if you have not thought about solar I really encourage you to do so I really encourage you to do so having a little bit of independence um, is a beautiful thing okay all right take care you two